I had a long talk with Tyler Richmond. There was just a sadness about him, you know? He didn't get to know his dad growing up. All the politics and then the White House and... I felt like he's still chasing his father. I so don't want that for our kids. I don't want it either. I know we're trying to protect them, but aren't they better off with us? Both of us? Not yet. I'm, I'm sorry, but... Well, me too. Tom. Yes? Sir, Speaker Hoekstraten? Just give me a second. I'll let you get back to your work. Alex. No, we'll talk later. Kimmo, please have a seat. Did you speak with the committee? Unofficially. And I wanted to speak to you as soon as possible. What is it? I've decided to resign. The speakership? And my seat. <laughs> Kim, that doesn't make any sense. The ethics committee is going to vote against me, sir. Recommend to the House that I be removed as speaker. You have friends in the House. Not enough. For better or worse, I represent old politics to a new Congress. And this is the new politics. This is a purge. I said I would fight till the end, and I can see now that this is it. I came to Washington to serve, but I can't represent my constituents the way they deserve. Kimball, please, tell me what I can do. Nothing. It's out of our hands. But I do have a little bit of good news, at least. As my last act as speaker, the House will refinance the arts education funding for Robert Richmond High and all the other public schools that depend on it. How is that even possible? Sandu said he'd never do it. Now every inmate gets a last meal. I asked for a little bit of pork. <sighs> you know, you're the best ally I could have ever hoped for in Washington, sir. It's been an honor serving with you. No. I'm sorry? I won't accept this. I appreciate the gesture, Mr. President, but we can't take on Congress. I'm thinking of taking on something else. <laughs>